Hi everyone, this is Said. I want to show you my favorite homemade tool today. I'll show you the parts first and then I'll show you how it's used. It's, um, it's this mount here and this handle. Uh, we can take that off and just use the handle for grinding things and using the wire wheel. I'll show you how that works. That piece comes right off. Uh, this handle here, if you if you need to grind something for a long time or uh, you need to clean up a lot of weld or wire brush a whole bunch of stuff, this handle makes life a lot easier. It's just nicer to hold, nicer than this. And also because the vents are here for the motor, uh, if you want to grind something for half an hour, it probably will overheat your motor. But this way, it's completely open and you can uh, ventilate easily. So it's just much easier to work like this and you can work much longer. Uh, now for that part, um, you can use this with a wire brush, like a wire wheel like this, or with a grinding wheel. Just cut this off for a second. Okay, so if you're using the wire wheel, uh, this goes on, this goes on like so. Uh, it's got two holes. Uh, you put, put in a closer hole so this comes closer to the wheel. This is where you rest your material, where you're grinding or where you're wire brushing. This is where it goes, as you can see by these marks. And if you're using the uh, grinding wheel, you just move it one hole out to give it some distance. I'll show you how it works. This works really excellent. This is my favorite tool, really. I, I use it all the time. I have a bench grinder also, but the, I don't use that anymore because it's uh, so weak compared to this. So, you put this on like this, you don't tighten the handle yet. Oh yeah, you need a vise of course, a good vise. Uh, you align it like that, and then you tighten that. Now I'll show you how it works. Okay, I'll show you the wire wheel first. I'm gonna uh, brush this uh, rusty piece of metal. It's, as you can see, it's really rusty. Let's see what this does to it. Huh? Okay, now I'll show you how it works with the grinding wheel. So we take this attachment off first. Take the wire wheel off. Okay, now with the wire wheel, it was in this hole. Now we move it back to this hole just to give it more clearance here and this handle on again loosely we put in the vise and then we tighten it so put it here as you can see The nice thing about this is you can use, uh, you can grind or you can brush really long pieces. So I'll just show you how that works. So I got a sand disc on and I'll show you how that works with a piece of wood. So this has come uh, become one of my best tools and I use it just just about for everything uh, I do around the shop now. Um, I will show you the pieces and uh, with the measurements and all that. Of course uh, uh, for your own uh, grinder you're going to have to maybe adjust a little bit but they're all standard anyway. This is a small size grinder with a four and a half inch wheel. So if you get one of those these measurements should work. Uh, anyway you know there's some leeway here. When you put this in, you can move this back and forth a little bit. 
you know, it should work with the same measurements. Um, so thank you for watching and uh, please rate and comment. Thank you. This is Saeed. Bye bye.